first leg of the triple trio then is race number five. This is a class four contest. We're racing over the 1,200 metres with one horse making his debut, but not stock legend. Uh, failed in his hat-trick bid last time out behind Spontaneous as favourite. Whiskey neat, blinkers off, Pfizer going on. Alfie Chan from Barrier 3. Everyone's victory unlucky on debut behind Red Brick Fighter. Exuberant makes his debut with the blinkers on as well. Romantic Trove also in the Spontaneous race last time out. Sam's Love, blinkers going back on there. Happily Friends placed on his last two. And then down to Carry the Diamonds. Uh, probably a little bit disappointing behind Daily Beauty last time out. Slow out of the gates, Richard Gibson and Matthew Chadwick. Speed map for this one, uh, Tom, who are the key horses? Well, Whiskey Neat is uh, one of them. Certainly he'll go forward to Visor on for the first time this time. Now, Victor actually missed the start, and I thought when he missed the start and finished off at the end, I thought he actually ran on better than he had done in his recent runs. So I'm not sure they're going to adopt those tactics again with the Victor, but I thought he finished off better last time out. Stock Legend, uh, Lucky Mary Noel uh, there. You got Exuber, and he's a newcomer over on the inside. Uh, everyone's uh, victory and joyful moment. Looks tough for the old boy here. Nine years of age, he's likely to be caught three wide from gate 12. No issues with Stock Legend, if you like him. He's going well in his work. A uh, couple of even pieces uh, as he finishes off. Joe Moreira doing the work, and again, he'll ride him on race day as well. Uh, barrier number two, so as we saw from that speed map, they might just be tempted to ride him a bit uh, closer. Here's the first starter, Exuberant. He's 11.03 pounds. He's had three trials to get him ready. He's closest to us in the white saddlecloth. Blinkers on, tongue tie on for his debut run. And uh, barrier number four is by Free Eagle. Exuberant. And Romantic Trove, he's drawn awkwardly in barrier number 10. But uh, look, his last start second behind Spontaneous was good. And he stretches out comfortably in his work here this morning as well. So no issues with him either. OK, well, we can uh, finish track work with him. We can start our race replays with Romantic Trove as well. Uh, Stock Legends uh, was favourite for this, uh, Tom, but ultimately, I think, disappointing in third place. Uh, Whiskey Need also included. Yeah, well, he had gate number 12 last time out, uh, Stock Legend, and he raced wide early until he got to the one-off position, probably peaked 150 out uh, from his run here. Nothing wrong at all with the run of uh, Romantic Trove. He was quite good, I thought, uh, over the final stages, and I've, I've given up Paul on Whiskey Need. I've got Whiskey Neat still on a, on a minor line because I think he can he can lead, but uh, the other two I think are good chances. I agree with him. Okay, what about the chances of Happily Friends, uh, Paul? He's finished, filled this spot on his last two starts, uh, third. Yeah, and he has, and uh, look, he's been going quite well. Uh, he's drawn awkwardly once again in barrier number eight. He drew six here, but the horse does get back anyway. It's just a horse who hasn't had much luck with his barrier draws. But uh, look, the five-year-old, he's an ISG, he's still a maiden from his 12 starts. He's gradually getting there. He was still mm. making some inroads so last time out. I put him in at the, the back end of the first four, Vincent Ho from gate number eight. So, again, likely to get back and will be needing some speed to run on. All right, Stock Legend short again, 1.8. Uh, Paul, did we see the favourite in those replays? Sorry, favourite. Did we see the winner in those replays? <laughs> well, I hope we didn't because I, I'm going for a horse here who's only had the one start, everyone's victory. He's dropped 23 pounds. He's got a good draw in barrier number six. He missed the start. And uh, he also got checked halfway down the straight. Everything went wrong for him. Zach Purden rode him as well, and he was 6.6 .6 on debut. We're getting 25 and 5. So I know uh, with a new jockey and Karras is aboard, I, I, I quite like him at that price. I'm, so I'll make him the each way play here. He's on top, stock leads, and the odds on Jolly obviously uh, is going well at the moment, as is Romantic Trove and Whiskey Neat fourth. But a bit of value here there, Tom. 3, 1, 6, and 2. Similar numbers except the red card for a whiskey and and off the bench is uh, horse number nine, Happily Friends, uh, but Stock Legend uh, goes on top. I think from gate number two he's going to get all favours uh, here and I think he'll be tough to beat despite carrying a uh, top weight here compared to gate 12 last time out. Romantic 12 and everyone's victory, I thought that the main two dangers and Happily Friends was the other one I wanted to include. Didn't quite get in Vector, but if they rode him back again he might be able to finish, finish off the same he did last time out, but he has overall been disappointing. One, six, three and nine. First leg of the triple trio, then we've all got one and six in the numbers there for race number five.